Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 starts now. A major bust of one of Metro Detroit's biggest heroin operations. You'll see who they took down coming up. We're also learning what caused this wreck involving a member of the Oakland County Sheriff's Department and two of the department's vehicles. New information emerges about what police say happened inside a Macomb County home between a bodybuilder and his girlfriend. Police confirming to Local 4 it was all captured by in-home security cameras. Thanks for being with us for the News at 6. It's a new twist and a disturbing story out of Washington Township. We first told you about it on Tuesday. Police say a woman emerged from a home there badly beaten and stabbed. Now we're learning the extent of what she endured. Sean Lay live tonight with what the cameras captured. Sean. Here's exactly what we know about all this tonight that the video we're talking about is coming right from Paul Boshi's own home security system. We know Macomb County Sheriff's investigators now have that video. They are going over every frame of it. We are told the images on the video, some of the worst those investigators have ever seen. Local 4 has confirmed that Macomb County Sheriff's investigators discovered more than 30 minutes of security camera footage inside Paul Boshi's Washington Township home. Graphic video that sources say detail every moment of a savage attack investigators say the bodybuilder leveled at his girlfriend, a young woman found in a bloody mess on the couple's front porch by neighbors. She was just in a heap, just sprawled across the porch, you know, not able to move, bloody groaning. It happened July 29th. Sources close to the investigation say Bashi can be seen on his own security system arguing with his 22-year-old girlfriend. We're told Bashi can be seen looking at her phone and then pounding the woman in her head three times, stunning her where she is physically unable to get away. The remainder of the video was hard to watch for even the most experienced investigators. We're told Bashi can be seen hitting his girlfriend 50 times, kicking her 100 times, stabbing the woman with different knives more than two dozen times. We're told the video shows the woman being burned by hot wax, being hit by furniture and hit with cans of protein powder. Bashi's girlfriend can be seen moving at certain points of the attack, but did not have the strength to escape. I spoke with Macomb County Sheriff Tony Wickersham today. He says his investigators have the video. They got it yesterday. He's not going to discuss what's on the video, only saying that it's bad and that that video now a big part of evidence. Investigators are going over it. They'll also go over it with prosecutors. They may eventually, Jason, have to show that video in court. Boy, looking at those injuries, Sean, it's amazing she's alive. What is the latest with her condition? Well, she's still recovering in the hospital. Sheriff's investigators went there to speak to her, to interview her, to ask her what she can tell them about this attack, but she was in and out of consciousness. So she needs more recovery time, and then investigators hope to go back to the hospital to then speak to her. For sure. All right, Sean, thanks. Some tense moments this morning for an Oakland County Sheriff detective after an accident in Pontiac. Take a look at the aftermath of this crash. The detective was traveling northbound on Woodward when the driver of a Ford C-Max ran a red light and struck the patrol vehicle, flipping it on its roof. Luckily, nobody was hurt in the crash. The 74-year-old driver was cited for failure to obey um, a control, a teach control device. Uh, St. Clair Shores. In St. Clair Shores, the search is on for three men with uh, guns who barged into the Wendy's on Harper Avenue and ordered everyone to get on the floor. One of them forced an employee to open the safe. Then they all ran off with an unknown amount of cash. Police aren't saying how many customers were there when this happened, but we know it was just before 10 o'clock and that location was open for business. If you have any information, call St. Clair Shores Police. All right, well, how many of you are freaking out because your tan is starting to fade? Help is on the way. Not if you have a year-round tan like myself. You're not <laughs> worried about that. Or much. you're swarthy like me. You don't worry about that. <laughs> Let's check in with Ben Bailey. <laughs> I'm going to turn the corner real quick here. Wow. Uh, air quality alerts has been issued on Saturday, and this is for ground-level ozone. And we love it when it's way up in the air, protecting us from the harmful rays of the sun. But when it's at the ground level, close to the surface, it makes people with breathing problems, uh, makes that even a little bit worse. So take it easy. And also for folks who maybe don't have breathing problems, don't fill up your car during the day. Don't mow the lawn. You know the drill. 
as we get into tomorrow. This is Sunday, though. That's when the humidity gets even higher. Look at some of these heat index readings by the end of the afternoon. 95 is how it's going to feel at Metro Airport. And even 9 o'clock at night, heat index is still going to be in the mid 80s. But for the rest of the evening, not too bad. Some humidity out there, uh, but temperatures sliding into the 70s, mid 70s here by 10 o'clock. We'll look at the heat and we'll look at when the relief shows up coming up in a few minutes. Jason. Meet Cavossier Pittman, also known as Chaos. Investigators say he's been responsible for a whole lot of the heroin that's destroying lives in Oakland County, but he won't be dealing drugs anytime soon. Let's bring in local poor defender Kevin Dietz, who's live with how authorities took him down. Kevin. Yeah, and he's certainly created a lot of chaos for those addicted to heroin in Oakland County. Tonight, he's behind bars, and he's going to stay there for a long, long time. Overdose deaths have skyrocketed in Metro Detroit. One reason, heroin mixed with fentanyl. Now police have taken down this man who calls himself Chaos. According to the federal court filings, he is a member of an organization called TEAM, which stands for To Eat and More. The feds say TEAM has been a major supplier of fentanyl-laced heroin in Oakland County for the past six years. Local Ford legal expert, Keith Corbett. We're not gonna tolerate it, and if you do it, and if you get caught, you're going to jail for a very, very long period of time. A federal task force used confidential informants, cell phone records, and surveillance to infiltrate the team organization. Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard has assigned deputies to the task force. We have to attack this aggressively through all of those things, education, diversion treatment, but law enforcement has to go after the supply chain that a, people are profiting off of killing other people. Chaos's real name is Curvacia Pittman. He told a federal judge he is just a street dealer, not a leader of the organization. The judge listened and then sent the 27-year-old father of one to prison for 15 years. It has to be one of the highest priorities, not just of law enforcement, but of society. Heroin is now the eighth leading cause of death in Michigan. The feds say they are going to aggressively go after all heroin dealers in southeast Michigan. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. All right, Kevin, we have some breaking news just in from Romulus that we need to take it, tell you about. Take a look here. We've uh, got a live look. It's an active police situation in the area of Wayne and Wick Roads. Uh, police are asking people to stay indoors and to avoid the area. Right now, no word on what police are investigating, but again, they're asking people to avoid the area. Uh, you see some people there just kind of looking around, trying to see what's going on. Uh, we'll have updates on Local 4 News here on the air and on ClickOnDetroit.com as we get them. High bacteria levels will force some swimmers to make alternate plans to beat this weekend's heat. 11 beaches will be closed because of the high levels of E. coli in the water. Five of the beaches are in the Metro Detroit area, including Scotch Lake residents in West Bloomfield, Newburgh and Sumac Points in Livonia, Lakeland Estates in Waterford, St. Clair Shores Memorial Park Beach, and Independence Oaks County Park in Clarkston. No word on when the beaches will reopen. An update now to a story from last September. You may remember a bridge along I-96 was badly damaged when a truck with a high load hit the Pleasant Valley Road overpass, bending the steel beams underneath. Well, MDOT had to rebuild the bridge, raising its height this time. Uh, today, though, it's back open, ahead of schedule. MDOT initially said it would take until November to open, but as you can see, there are cars traveling there. A special day for the Detroit Police Department welcoming several new officers into its ranks. As the graduates were sworn in, our cameras got a close look at what this ceremony really means. Another great Detroit Police Department recruit graduation. I would say what makes Detroit Police Department different is that we are part of the community. And I mean in a very different way. When you talk about community policing or neighborhood policing, what really makes it work is that trust relationship that you establish. The day he graduated, so, yeah. I am extremely proud of him. He is my oldest nephew, so it just brought a lot of joy to my heart to be here with him to celebrate. I feel wonderful and blessed. This has been a childhood dream of his. Ever since I can remember, he's always wanted to be a police officer, and his dream has finally come true. Our work continues. 
Uh, I certainly never wave a, a flag of success. It's always progress. And so we have to continue and continue uh, to lead by example. Look good. Sure do. And diverse too. Saw a lot of women in there yeah. as well. So Good we luck. wish them the best. Stay safe.